Welcome back to my channel and another swatch and review here. Today I have a swatch and review for you of the Dom Nail Polish Boba Collection and I just need everyone to be really impressed by the fact that I have all five of these in my hand and I haven't dropped a single one. So please shower me with compliments in the comments for that one. But <laughs> ladies this is a five piece boba themed collection and they are like a thinner kind of crellyish type base with a matching color shimmer and then black glitters to kind of be the tapioca pearls or the boba that are floating in each polish here and i think that they look delicious. Now, I'm sure most of my viewers know what boba is, but for those of you who don't, just really quick so that you're not like lost on what the inspiration of this collection is, boba tea or bubble tea is just a type of milk tea. There's a lot of different flavors. It's just black tea or green tea or like any variety of tea really. Usually some kind of milk is added and then boba or tapioca pearls that have been boiled and usually sweetened are added to the bottom and it's kind of like a chewy textured candy that you suck up through your straw and you drink the tea. It started in Taiwan and it has gained popularity all over Asia and more recently really has blown up in the U.S. When I was younger uh, I had to drive out to Ann Arbor to get bubble tea. Now it's like on every street corner where I live. Maybe it's just the side of this. I live on this, the east side of Michigan as well. So we have a larger Asian population. So there's a lot more boba tea places than when I go back home, which is more mid to the western side of Michigan, where there's not much of anything but corn. So, <laughs> but that's what boba or bubble tea is and i'll probably use those words interchangeably from here on out so these polishes are on the dom nail polish website for 13 dollars a piece or you can get the five piece collection for 62.50 which if you do the math i believe i did it correctly will save you two dollars and fifty cents love some savings now i love boba I love Dom nail polish and I love a funky finish. So this was just like three for three. Here you go, Hillary, come by me. I also love that it's essentially just a five piece rainbow collection. So perfect amount of polishes for a Skittle. That's what I want. I want, don't give me six matching polishes. Don't give me four matching polishes. Give me five so that I have one for every finger and it just makes my life easier. Uh, but yeah. These really tick the boxes for me. I, when I first saw them, I almost thought like, is that pineapples have peelings too in five different colors? You'll see when they're swatched, they're not so metallic. It's more just that shimmer is really, really punchy. So it looks really bright and shiny, but we'll talk more about that in the swatches. I did purchase these at Polish and Beauty Expo while I was there. This is the only thing I picked up from the Dom nails table and I regretted that because I just really love Dom nail polish. Like I think that I'm not gonna buy very many advent calendars this year as far as like Christmas ones go, uh, but I do believe that I will be purchasing the Dom one again because the one last year, it was their very first one and it was probably my favorite one. That, and I really liked the Coloris de Carol one. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's for a future video. So let's get into the swatch and review and then I will talk about more of my thoughts at the end. So first we have Love Boba very much and all of them are described pretty much the same on the website. This is a light pink crelly with pink gold green shimmer and assorted black glitters. I really like the same color shimmers in the light base. Now I'm doing two coats on all of these and my swatch photos are gonna be two coats as well. However, I feel like if you do three coats, it would really help to obscure that nail line. This is Tie and Stop Me. This is an orange curly polish with orange and gold shimmer and assorted black glitters. I don't see the gold so much with my eyes, but I do see a lot of that orange. It just really overpowers. I really, really like that orange shimmer here. You can see it here on the nail as well. This is OG Devotee, and you're gonna hear me through the entire thing calling this the yellow. They describe it as a tan crelly polish. 
Uh, I don't know. I just really feel like it's yellow <laughs> and it has gold shimmer, but because of that base, it really pulls yellow to me in my eyes. Although the base color, I can see it's like tannish here. Then we have Matcha Made in Heaven. This is a light green crelly with green, blue, purple shimmer and black glitters. I found that um, I needed a little bit more time to let these dry in between coats than normal. I don't know if it's just the type of base they use, but it would get a little gummy if I was too quick with it, but still really good and easy application. And finally, we have Bibbidi Boba Tea Boo, which has blue and purple, or sorry, blurple shimmer in it. And the other thing I found with these is the glitters were not too hard to get out. Some of the bigger glitters I had to kind of swish my brush around for, but ultimately I really didn't find that the glitter fishing was an issue here. And here is two coats of the blue. So what do we think? Like I said up top, when I first saw these polishes, I really thought of pineapples have peelings too, but like in a good way, especially when I saw this one, which is Tie and Stop Me and uh, OG Devotee, because they're more in that like neutral grounded color. And so they reminded me of the gold, but they are just really strong shimmers, not metallics. So they really don't look like that so much on the nail. Like they don't look like pineapples. I have peelings too on the nail, which I think for most people is probably a good thing. The other thing I knew right away is when I saw them, because I was really scouting out before I went to PBE, what was being launched there, what was being brought, what was being released. And as soon as I saw them, I knew I wanted them. Like I said, you know, the inspiration, the funky finish, the brand itself are all things I really like. And so I was like, that's a must. But I also knew that they're probably not gonna be everybody's vibe, you know? They are really bright, punchy, obnoxious shimmers. And I know like with the added glitter, it adds like even just another layer of like bam in your face. So maybe not everybody will go for them, but I do really think they are a fun little treat. Even if you only pick up one or two, you know, I think they're really cute. I think that the Krelly finish and the hex glitters mixed together, that really, really solidified the theming for me because like I said, you know, this is what a boba tea looks like. You can see the boba at the bottom, the black tapioca pearls, or I guess there are like clearish ones too, but the black ones are like the ones that I traditionally always see. And then you have like the milky tea kind of obscuring it a little bit. It was a really good combo here. The shimmer, you know, just an added bonus. I love shimmer. So, and these are strong shimmers. So, you know, they're right up my alley. If you like a strong shimmer, you're probably going to be interested in these. As for the naming convention, they're all kind of like punny and really cute. And each one I feel relates to the color of the polish. So like my favorite name is probably Thai and Stop Me because this does look like a Thai milk tea. Thai milk tea is like, at least the ones that I've had are very orangey brown. And so this is the orange base here. And you know, instead of try and stop me, Thai and Stop Me, how cute. And then OG Devotee, which is their yellow. I really like that name. I thought it was cute. And then like love boba very much for that's the red berry red one. For a while I thought it was love boba very much and I was just like I don't get it. And then like literally a week ago I looked at the bottom label again and I was like, "Oh, I can't read." And then of course matcha made in heaven, which is the green who doesn't love matcha milk tea. The only name that I'm just like about is this Bibbidi Boba Tea Boo because I feel like that's too many bilabial sounds to have to say in one phrase and I just don't like the way it feels which is a really <laughs> if you learn anything from my channel it's that my complaints are all incredibly petty and have no bearing on any enjoyment in anyone's life but yeah too many bilabial sounds and I just didn't like the name so Everyone else is cute though. So as far as my favorites go, even though I just, even though I just complained about the name, it's the blue. <laughs> I really like the blue because I love blue. 
if you couldn't tell. Now, I know I said I was gonna be wearing blues, by the way, all of September, and I feel like this is really reading purple on camera. It's a multi-chrome. The base is blue and it turns purple. And yes, that's probably cheating, but I made it up, so it's my rules. But yeah, I like this blue. I love the shimmer. The lighting is too strong in here right now, but it's just this very purpley blue that is just punching out of this really light kind of, not robin's egg blue, but it's, it's like a springier blue. And actually, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen a blue bubble tea. The closest I've ever had is I drink taro milk tea a lot and that one's kind of like a purple color. So I guess that's kind of, I guess, similar. But yeah, the blue is absolutely my favorite. Now, I didn't think, like I knew I was gonna like the blue and the green and this pinky or red is fine. I love pink. I, I wear a lot of, or I used to wear a ton of pink polish. Lately, I'm in my green era, but pink is... Probably one of my biggest, I'm looking at my swatch wall right now. I have one, two, three, four. I have six like jailer key rings filled with pinks and I only have five for green. So I, I do love pink. Um, but the two that I didn't, I just didn't know if I was gonna like them. Cause first of all, in the bottle, they do look a little bit similar. So I, the two that I really love the names for, I was not sure of the orange and the yellow. And even in person under like the poorer lighting, I was like, I don't think I like those. And then when I swatched them and I could see the shimmer coming through in all of its glory, there you, you can see it on the orange and there we go, on the yellow too. It just is like the orange one looks really fiery. The yellow one just looks glowy from within and they just really shine. So they are a more neutral base color, but with that shimmer, it just gives it a little extra oomph. So if you want something that is maybe a little bit more neutral, a little bit more wearable, which, you know, everything's wearable. But, you know, I understand some people have different jobs and different comfort zones than me. So if you need something that's a little bit more toned down, but still toned up, if that's a thing, I recommend trying out the orange or the yellow. And out of these two, probably tie and stop me, the orange is my favorite, just because that it just looks like like a fiery, you know, when the sun is setting in summer and it's just that really orangey red, that's what it looks like. As far as any issues go with this collection, I would say I didn't have any issues. They applied really easily. The only thing that might be an issue for some people, uh, but for me, I think is just common with this type of glitter is that you might have to swipe a little bit extra, a couple extra times across the nail to shift some of those larger glitters around because you know, sometimes they just, once you slap them down, they're like, that's where I live now, that's where I'm staying. And you kind of have to like get the brush and like move it or not that aggressively really. It's just like, like one or two extra swipes to just get it maybe not so like close to the back. Cause for me, a lot of times when I paint with glitters, I slap the brush down here first. Look at how chipped that nail is, oh my God. Uh, I put it here first and then I pull forward and then all the like big glitters are concentrated back here and I just have to pull them up a little bit. You could also use like an orange wood stick or something like that to kind of shift them around as well. But I really didn't need to finagle with them too much to get them evenly spread out. Another thing you could do to help with that if you don't like all the extra swiping is just hold the bottle upside down for like five to 10 minutes before you're going to paint. And you don't have to like sit here and hold the bottle. You can just set it on a table like that and walk away and do something else for 10 minutes. Uh, you don't have to just grip it and be like, okay, I can't wait to paint my nails. You don't have to do it like that. Um, but if you just leave the bottle setting upside down, it allows the bigger, heavier particle glitters to float to the top of the bottle. And then when you flip it right side up, uh, I just feel like they're easier to get out and spread a little bit more evenly across your brush. The other thing too is that because these are Krellies, they are a little bit more on the sheer side. They have a lot of shimmer and glitters going on in them. So I find that polishes like that, even if they are a little bit sheer, because they have so much going on, it distracts from any visible nail line. But if that is something that bothers you, I would recommend either doing an extra coat, painting them over white, or painting them over a base color that's quite similar, like a pastel blue 
under this would probably go pretty well. So my overall thoughts on this collection are it is a very fun collection. I love the inspiration. Love me some boba tea. I definitely recognize this isn't going to be a collection for everybody's taste, either due to maybe the more sheer Crelly side. Not everybody loves a Crelly or because it's just a very loud kind of punchy in your face collection. I get that not everybody likes a funkier finish. I definitely do. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to try something fun, even if you don't like this collection in particular, I definitely recommend checking out Dom Nail Polish because they just have a really good variety of colors and finishes and they are just a really fun polish brand. And I have really only gotten into them maybe in the past like full year or so, but I met the maker. Her name is Angie and she is a very sweet lady and she seemed to be working really hard at PVE so I tried not to take up too much of her time but I recommend checking out their website. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it from me. Let me know down in the comments if you liked these or thought they were interesting and let me know what your go-to boba order is because I kind of get the same thing every time. I always get taro milk tea with boba and my boyfriend says the only reason I like taro is because it tastes like butter and I disagree. I think it tastes like cereal milk but and also why does he think I'm just out here eating sticks of butter? That was so 25 years ago. Okay I didn't I haven't done that in a million years but yeah let me know your go-to boba order and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!